I believe that Cardi B is so scared of the year 2024 because it marks the separation between real versus fake rappers. Welcome or welcome back to the From Rap Politics playlist where we discuss how the political sphere of hip hop and the music business intersects with and impacts the careers of female rappers. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more critical conversations like this. So not only is her album a dark cloud looming over her head, Cardi B was in hiding during the Hiss versus Bigfoot debacle between Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj. 2024 is the year we separate the serious rappers from the ones who are untalented and here for money and status. Cardi recently denounced her long-standing beef with Nicki Minaj. So let's hear what she had to say. I feel like I, I have that. I, I've been I've been trying to leave from Maddie for the past six years. And I'm just so done with it. I'm done with bitches. I'm done with I'm I'm done with the arguing. If anybody wanna see me, they could fight me. Like I'm I'm I got short nails now. So if anybody got an issue with me, they could link up and they could fight me. But I'm not going no back and forth no more with no bitch on, on, on Instagram, on social media, on records, or nothing. Cause I've been I, that that should have been for six years already. And guess what? No matter if I'm right or wrong, I'm always look like the villain. But you y'all need to leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not even being cocky about my accomplishments. I could really shit if I wanted to. I feel like I, I have that. I Cardi is clearly dodging all confrontation because she knows she can't handle some real ish. As I said, 2024 is a year where all the real rappers will separate themselves from everyone who has just been lollygagging, skating along, and talking or mumbling on a beat and getting by. Cardi don't want no smoke, but more importantly, no one sees her as a worthy opponent because she is not a real rapper. She can't write and does not deserve to represent the genre and culture of hip hop. She said she's done arguing and people can pull up if they want to fight her. Cardi is so cat because she stays sitting up in interviews saying that she doesn't want beef and she doesn't want her music to be about taking sh shots. But see, every time Cardi mentions beef, we immediately know who she's talking about and we could have let this slide. But the fact that she said it's been six years and she's only been famous for about six years, who else has she been beef beefing with for the past six years? The one and only Nicki Minaj, aka Onika Tanya Minaj. So what you're saying is that you're done talking to Nicki Minaj and you want to fight her, just like you tried to do back in 2018 at the Harper's Bazaar event when you threw that shoe and got your head bucked by Ra Ali? See, no matter if I'm right or I'm or you, she says, sorry, no matter if she's right or she's wrong, she's always going to seem like the villain. But now you want to be Chen Li? But you was actually making fun of Nikki's alter ego when she debuted it and called her wanting to be a street fighter. See, Cardi wants to challenge all of these girls to fight her right after she says she's done talking and arguing. So it's like, which one do you want? But she's always contradicting herself because she knows that people are going to continue to whack her in songs because that's what hip hop is about. But she can't take it. And she's trying to bow out. And she's trying to run, which is what she accuses Nicki Minaj of doing. Cardi could not handle a rap beef because she knows she's not supposed to be here. Now, the other day, her fan base um, Barty Gang and Megan Thee Stallion's fan base, the hotties, were going back and forth. And this could be unrelated, but there have been rumblings of something going on between Cardi and Megan because they have not supported each other's releases since their previous collaboration, Bongos. Let me know if you guys think, think or see any truth in that rumor. I can't lie. I'd love to see Meg Thee Stallion slaughter her in a verse though. That would be funny because she would just be flopping around like a dying fish, not knowing where to turn. And she might have to give part Artisan Fontaine, aka Megan Thee Stallion's ex-boyfriend, -boy at least one million in cash just for that verse, just for a comeback. But I'm getting too deep into this fantasy now. Back to the main subject. Real rappers have no problem standing up. And as I said in my analysis of his versus Bigfoot, I don't care who you are. When it comes time to battle, I'm holding everyone to the same standard. I don't care if you were play, play, cute bopper rapper like Sweetie or Ice Spice or a serious rapper like Nicki or Kendrick. If you want to be in hip hop and be taken seriously a rap battle is as serious as it could ever get and some of you would fold which is why you believe in female or male rap unity 
Cardi shouldn't have said anything during the Big Bigfoot versus his situation because it would have just been too much and she would have never do that anyway. But at the same time, she's over there hiding under a rock, just hoping and praying that she don't get dragged into some ish with this Kendrick and uh, Drake and Cole and future situation now. Um, and she's probably over there crying and now, but it would never really involved her, involve her, but um, see, the difference is in that is that in 2024, all of the real rappers are standing up and we separated the real from people who are just here talking over a beat. Once again, 2024 is the year of separation and the ones who are just here for a check and using our culture as a come up. Cardi B is separating herself and you already know what side she falls on. At least I Spice tried. At least she's not scared to use her words rather than using her hands and risking everything that she's worked for. And I could do nothing but respect that even if it's going to be whack. So I'm sure Cardi is also shaking in her boots as she sees the debacle between the, between the big three male rappers, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, as well as Drake, because she's just hoping that she doesn't catch any strays and she won't because they don't regard her as a real rapper anyway. But she caught strays when Nicki revealed that Megan Thee Stallion called Cardi B a dirty Mexican. And I think this was before they even had a working relationship. And I'm talking about Megan and Cardi. And um and Cardi Cardi was silent during the whole debacle and never said a word and never addressed it. But I wonder if she has addressed Megan again in private. Probably not. But what do you think? The thing I find most contradictory about Cardi's statements these days um, is about not wanting to spar in the music. And she makes it clear that she wants to back down. Yet in every song that Cardi B has released in 2024, she has been throwing nothing but shots. You know, in her like what freestyle as well as in Enough Miami, whether she wrote them or not, go check the lyrics. But more importantly, check out the videos that I made on them talking about what she said. And I'll link them below and in the comments. Cardi B will rather have a physical altercation, but hey, you know, that's what happens when you let a hood rap with nothing to live for in the rap game. So congratulations to Joe Budden and all of hip hop media, because this is the monster that you've created. Thank you guys so much for listening until the end. Please like this video and let me know what you think about this in the comments below. As I said, even though Cardi B does not want her music to be about beef, she continues to take shots in, every, in everything she releases. So do you guys predict that she will stop doing that? Because if not, I'm probably going to call have to call her out again, but let's stay tuned. So thank you guys so much once again, and please like this video. Oh, and before I go, Cardi, you better go and piece it up with Meg real quick. And one word of advice I need to give her is stop saying this in interviews, but more importantly, stop getting on live on spaces with your fans and talking about this because it makes you look even crazier. Once again, you're always going back on your word. You stay saying that you don't want the smoke, but you only bring smoke in your records. And I could respect that if you brought the smoke in your records and nothing else, but a lot of people ask for the um, social media antics to stop when it comes to female rap beef specifically. And I have to hold everybody to the same standard. So I'm agree with them on that. Cardi, do better.